Hey guys, Cooking Cowboy here. Episode five is kicked off to an absolute treat. This week, we are cooking up a storm for you guys in the kitchen, chicken jalfrezi with a side of naan bread. That's gluten-free naan bread as well. Even better in my book. So chicken jalfrezi, a bit more spice, a bit more zing to my Cooking Cowboy episode this week. And you're gonna love it. We're gonna dive into the ingredients in a minute. But before we do, of course, we're going to do a big shout out on the country music scene. This week, we're going to be shouting out for my man, Kip Moore. Kip Moore is an absolute legend. Been listening to him since he exploded on the scene back in 2012 with his album, Up All Night. His album, Up All Night, listen to the deluxe version. It's incredible. Such a good album. He followed that album up with Wild Ones. Oh my God. Wild Ones alone on that album just recognition overall it's such a good song it's such a good album incredible and then he went into slow heart which released a few years ago and now he's got a brand new album which is wild world i adore this album it's slightly calmer slightly slower pace to his normal upbeat vibe but trust me the songwriting in this is just amazing i love it you're gonna love it i've got it in the car all day long and it is definitely a smash hit for this year kit moore absolute legend. I saw him live in Birmingham a few years ago at the Institute and he was just a literal bundle of energy, loves the fans, interacts with them and just was two hours straight performing, up just going at it and you can't deny he's a great, great performer and a great artist. So country music shout out this week, Kit Moore, get him on the download. He's on everything, Apple Spotify, he's also on my playlist this week. So check out Kit Moore. And now we're going to dive into some chicken chow frenzy. See you later. So here it is, guys, the recipe for and all the ingredients for tonight's chicken chow frenzy. I absolutely love this recipe. One of my favorite curries is a chicken chow frenzy. And you're going to love it. So let's start on this side of the board. We've got some chopped garlic, just nice and thinly chopped, some tomato puree, some red onion, which again, I've sliced some of it and I've kept some of it whole because I love the flavor of red onion. I think it's absolutely beautiful in a curry. We've got some chopped little bird's eye chilies and I've kept one whole and I've just split it open. So you get that kind of rounded flavor on that as well. Just another element to your curry. And we're going to our spices now. So we've got some cumin, we've got some garam masala and we've got some turmeric. That's all you need. This is your spice level here. So that's just to round that dish off. Then we go into our vegetables. We've got some tomatoes, chopped and quartered, some bell peppers, green, yellow and red. I love colour in a curry. If you're going to cook a curry, make sure you put some colour into it. Make that, you know, it's not a it's not just flavour for your mouth. It's also, you know, flavour for your eyes. It looks amazing. And then finally, we've got some courgette. Now, if you've never had courgette in a curry, oh, you are missing out. It's so good. It tastes amazing. And then finally here, we've just got some natural Greek yogurt. I prefer to use Greek yogurt because it's slightly lighter. It's not as heavy as using a cream, which most curries do. So the yogurt, it gives that nice balance and it's slightly cooler effect to the curry. So that's what you're gonna be using in your curry. If we move over to the chicken, I'll pick that up so you can have a look. That is just now, I've just put that on a tray. I'm gonna cook this in the oven. I prefer to cook it in the oven. I cover with a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of turmeric and some black pepper. And I bake that in the oven while I make the rest of the curry. And that is just, I just prefer the flavor of the cut and then I bring it in at the end, you'll see. And trust me, when you try it, you'll love it as well. And that's all you need for this lovely chicken jalfrezi. So let's dive in. There's nothing better and nothing else compares to having the perfect naan bread to join your curry as well. And this naan bread is so easy to make that you are gonna just be mind blown. It's so easy. All it is, is you've got some, oh, I've got some gluten-free self-raising flour. We gotta eat gluten-free. My partner needs to be gluten-free. So that is gluten-free self-raising flour. I've put a pinch of pink Himalayan salt in there. And I've also put a pinch of baking soda, also gluten-free. So that's in there. And then in the bowl is some more yogurt. This is 150 grams of yogurt. I'm just gonna combine the two. So I'm just literally gonna mix the two together. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. All I'm gonna do is add this in. 
super easy. And I'm just going to mix that all together. The yogurt and the flour together. I know it looks crazy. The first time I did it, it looked crazy. And all you do is just mix the yogurt and the flour together. Combine it with a spoon as much as possible. Bash it around. Don't be coy. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing. And then eventually, once you can't mix anymore with the spoon, you're gonna get your hands dirty. So you're looking like it's forming some balls now. And all we're gonna do is stick that other bit in there. Set that aside. Get your hands in. And this is your dough. Look how great that looks. How good is that? Incredible. That is your naan bread dough. Well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. One, two, three, four! I got to blow up some steam for a bubble, 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 b